18 minutes heading up to 8 o'clock on this Monday morning. Welcome back to Sunrise. Well, Hurricane Beryl has left a trail of devastation across the southern parishes of Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Clarendon, where infrastructure was severely impacted. Many have been left without their homes. Farmers have suffered significant loss. Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Elizabeth and the Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Mining, the Honorable Floyd Green, joins us this morning to share some of the untold stories from the ground and talk us through his roadmap for restoration. Welcome, Minister. Good morning, sir. How are you? Uh, not bad. Yes, it's been rough. Yeah. It's been a tough few days. Yes, been yes. watching yes. your social media, been yeah. been following, you know, having not been on the ground myself. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. To be honest, it's hard to capture it. Yeah. Um, even even in, in all the videos that you see because it's so extensive. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, if I start calling community names, I'll probably miss some, but definitely we are familiar with South St. Elizabeth. Um, we have 10 to 15 communities that have been hit very, very hard, all the way from Flagaman down through Great Bay, Treasure Beach, Billy's Bay, all of that area, into Short Hill, Newell, Newcomb Valley, Bacon, Barbary Hall, Stonefield, all the way up to Mountainside, Arlington Vineyard, all the way to Pirate. Wow. Then over the bridge, Shrewsbury, Middle Quarters. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's significant. And the loss is, you know, houses, um, yes. roofs, it's, you know. Holland Bamboo, I hear, is impossible. Well, that, that has been cleared. Cleared, okay. That has been cleared, but yes. Holland Bamboo did suffer significant damage yes. um, to, to, to the bamboo itself. Yes. Um, extensive uprooting, extensive breakage. Um, so, you know, yeah, that, that, that is tremendous. What a number of people suffered from, a number of people lost their roofs. And yes. again, we speak about it, but I just want you to contemplate losing your roof in the middle of a storm, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, if you have somewhere to run to, you know, but if you don't, then literally everything gets it's wet. Exposed, I mean, yeah. your bed, your furniture, your appliances, your clothes, everything you work so hard for. Everything you work so yeah. hard for, and 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 those are the stories. I went into Great Bay yesterday, and I tell you, the only houses without roof damage are the houses that were decked. Wow. I wanted to, to put it into context. I I walked into a, a, a living room, and you know, <clears throat> the lady was saying to me that again, you know, we had some rains over the weekend. And that when the rain started, she ran to close the door yeah. and then said, but this makes no sense, sense yeah. because she literally has no. no roof. Let me ask ministers, persons have, some persons are asking, is it that they, the roofs there are in those parts? Uh, they don't have hurricane straps? They are, the hurricane straps were no match L let me tell for you, burial. Burial is like nothing anybody has ever seen. Oh. And, you know, St. Elizabeth people are not prone to exaggeration. I tell you, we, we don't speak about Gilbert. Yeah. Gilbert was not a big hurricane for us down yeah. that side, the south. We speak about Ivan. Yes. Ivan was the barometer <clears throat> in terms of damage that was done. If you speak to everybody, I, I, I picked up <laughs> Jojo who sells melon by a silver tank. If you drive into South West St. Louis, but you can't miss him. And Jojo said, if you want to compare burial, you would have to put together Ivan, Sandy, Charlie, wow. all of those in terms of the just, just the raw force of the wind. It took up. 40 foot containers that were underground and threw it across the road. It took wow. up shops and threw it across the road. I've I mean, seen trees ripped out of the ground yeah, and the soil is it, there it, under it, under. Let me tell roots. you, it, 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 it is like nothing. And, and again, if, and if you speak to all, up to yesterday, Saturday when I was touring some farms, a man said, I didn't even know there was a hurricane called Flora, I'll be honest. And a man said, boy, even Flora, and Flora was most from the 50s. Oh, wow. Right? Um, we have never seen anything like this. Yes. So even those with hurricane straps suffer damage. Damage. Um, just the gusts, especially on the coast. Yes. Everything from lovers leap all the way down. The the, the, the gusts were tremendous. And, and Saint sorry, sorry, Dennis. Mm -hmm. Saint Elizabeth is the breadbasket parish um, of Jamaica, and so I also gather that there has been extensive damage to farmers and you know uh, everything ex flat ever. Ex extensive damage. So so clearly. Again, because the wind, we got hurricane force on the coast, but wind was all through St. Elizabeth. So in the north of the parish, a lot of our banana and planting farmers oh. suffered tremendously. Mm. Um, and, and, and that we've seen some of that island well, unfortunately, mm -hmm. St. Mary Portland, right? Um, and then in the south, almost all our greenhouse farmers have a complete loss. Wow. Complete I mean, loss. when I say a complete loss, I mean they have lost their greenhouses and all the crops in there. Right, uh, one farmer told me when he got the pictures, because you know, with the lack of connectivity, yes. he didn't see it until Friday that he wept 
uncontrollably. I mean, yes. that's a $48 million investment that he made wow. in greenhouses. And you're you know, talking about crops. I went to visit one farmer who had eight greenhouses completely destroyed. You know, um, so livestock as well, yeah. poultry. Um, what we found is that a number of, I visited one farmer who lost 1,500 layup birds because the birdhouse collapsed on and the birds, because of the wind, and the birdhouse is a $5 million investment, right? And, um, you know, he said he sat down for one hour <coughs> in one position, just yeah. not knowing what yeah. to do. So we, we're seeing a lot of livestock damage, especially poultry farmers. Almost all our crop lines, um, cassava, or tubers, we've got uh, outside of St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. and Trelawney. Um, we've heard of significant mm -hmm. damage all over the agricultural sector. So it is, it is impactful. Are we going to be <coughs> anywhere close to normalcy in St. In Saint Elizabeth, in the agriculture sector, before the end of the year, do you think? Well, so, so, so clearly we've, we've, we've started, you know, restoration. And, 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 and one, one of the beauties, and, and we saw it Thursday, the Prime Minister came down, um, St. Elizabeth definitely has one of the most resilient people out there. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I, I went up to one lady and I mean, you know, when you see the devastation, it's tough, especially we flew in and then we drove around. So you see from here, you get a, a, a wide cross section. And as a woman said, well, you know, once we're there, we can't push through. Mm -hmm. right? and we're there and we're happy you're there. Yes. So make we just do yes. it. So um, we started by trying to focus on cleaning the roadways. All our roads were blocked. All of our roads are blocked. So we've got 90% 90, 90 of our main roads are already clean in South of St. Elizabeth. So that's, you know, you can get dual traffic. Some of them still have some areas where there are light posts that are somewhere removed, but we still have flow to come and do some. Um, I know we're going into the community roads. I think once we have that, you know, transportation, mm -hmm. then accessibility, yeah, yes. then people can move around. The other thing that we have to try and get back up some of our utilities, yes. right? Um, clearly, what it means is that water is down because you don't have any electricity yes. for the pumps. It means we have no electricity. And um, our digital service, which clearly is the biggest provider, has been down in most of the constituencies. So they've been working over the, over the weekend. We've gotten back digital to a couple of areas, Black River, Barbara Hall, parts of Watchwell, and they're continuing to work on the other areas. We've been working with Minister Samuda and, and the National Water Commission to see how we can get generators yes. into some of our pumps. We have a major hospital, <coughs> sorry, the Black River Hospital today. <coughs> sorry, guys. So they did um, put in a generator and started to do some pumping for the hospital and, and people in that area, and we're trying to do some more, right? Um, JPS has been on the ground. Clearly, first is trying to take up the polls. Yes. You know, I would estimate that maybe 30 to 40 percent of our polls have gone down. And if you were to say what have not gone down but is bent out of shape, we would be in the probably 60 percent rate. Well, Minister, I know we have so much to talk about because when we see the devastation, yeah. right, it's, it's quite extensive. But also, as Jamaicans, as our brothers and sisters keeper, how can we help? What can we do? Uh, yeah. right now I don't know yeah. if we should reach out to your ministry how yeah. do we do it so how do we help yeah first I want to thank everybody who's been helping so far and um, we really had a good rollout from a number of different people yes. from all big of the Shensia and Ramesh big, let me tell yes you, I, I saw them up Ramesh. yes Ramesh Ramey major marketing after he saw the first video he called on behalf of Shensia and said she wanted to do something and yeah. we told him and you know he acted he acted yes. quickly and mm -hmm. a lot of people have line who came down with a group of guys just to went around go around and cut trees yeah we have big foundations like gems and american friends of jamaica we still need it's extensive so mm -hmm. clearly building supplies yes is big um because of the roof damage it has been extensive um care packages are mm -hmm. very important you know we are without electricity um water clearly is very important yeah. generators help um ran if you limited worked with me and we set up some light tower generators mm -hmm. that people use to charge their phones. Oh, yes. So that they can right? make contact. Yeah. Yes. So that they can make yeah. contact. And I went to all of them and the lady told me that it was the first she was speaking to her daughter yes. since Tuesday. I mean, you know, this is big. Did you sell us down today with some buses to move around the constituency to give charge? Those things help. So generators help, especially if you can help somebody keep their business moving. Yeah. Remember, without electricity, even farmers, poultry farmers, if you save your chickens, know where you're going to freeze them. Yeah. You know, how does that work? If you have a little and if there's anybody shop, who can buy, you understand? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think those things are fundamental priorities. We do have some schools that were damaged, and I'll put out that listing because I know people will try to help our schools. We have schools that lost 
three classrooms were blown down um, and lost their roof. So we have some good charities on the ground. Yes. Right. And, and I think if people follow my social media pages, I'll share some of the charities that are already established and doing work. And I'll share some of the avenues. Currently, there's OddPEM yes. that you can reach out to. The Prime Minister has put in place now a coordinating committee for the recovery effort. It's very, very important that we try to get to everybody. Right. So we have our first meeting today at five. So OddPEM is a good place to reach out to. The Breads Foundation is always mm -hmm. good to reach out to. You can reach out to me directly and I can directly. We've been working through a lot of our CDC groups. Yes. Because that gives you clearly on the ground impact directly and we have some well-established groups through the SDC and they can give you a needs list and just to remember what, to them. what Dennis said earlier I mean we, St. Elizabeth is here but other persons other as well places. so Clarendon, Clarendon uh, Portland the, yeah some, um, some of the places in the north of yeah. these parishes Saint, and, are, are, are yeah. significantly impacted yeah, no, I, I'm telling you if we were to talk about uh, I'll just quickly tell you in agriculture in general we've seen tremendous impact or about 80% of our banana and planting farmers suffered damage. I'm a little plant in the minister. And the mother suffered Mere complete that, loss you know. is a real yeah, issue. Yeah. Um, in St. Anna, a number of our vegetable lines, yes. um, some of them had flooding. And again, with lack of electricity, what we find on a number of our poultry farmers, some of them suffered from their houses being blown down, chickens dying. So we, we already estimate that losses are past $1 billion wow. to the agricultural sector. And um, it, it has impacted, again, Clarendon, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, St. and St. Mary, Portland, Chulani, Manchester, yeah. Yam Farmers, Cassava Farmers. It's widespread. It's widespread. Let me just ask you myself, because I have to go now. I saw a video with you and the Honorable Prime Minister with a young lady who was pregnant, <laughs> and she was saying that she hadn't felt any movement with her yeah. baby. Did she get help? Did yes, she, she got help. Out? I went back to look for her. Um, baby is moving. Ah, She's God. feeling fine. Um, and she's gotten uh, some, some, some support. Yes. They're trying to put back on the roof. Um, yes. When I went there, the father of the child was on the roof, trying nice. to put back on the roof. Um, we've, we've rallied around her. The community has really rallied mm -hmm. around her. Very traumatic situation yeah. because the roof came off mm -hmm. while she was there. She, so she's good. She's good. good. And, and her, her other daughter is a gem. I nice. mean, she was up and down. And to God be the yeah, glory. God Thank be you. Glory. Well, Minister, we're here to support how we can. We're all Jamaicans, and we want to help in whatever way we can. This isn't a yeah. government thing. This isn't a private sector thing. Mm -hmm. This is a every Jamaican, yeah. poor yeah. Jamaican yeah. thing. Yeah. And yeah. wherever the help is needed, we're not shying away from it. We just want to make sure that we go through the proper channels, mm -hmm. trustworthy channels, and get it done. Because... In moments like these, unfortunately, you have people who see an opportunity. Mm -hmm. They see a people opportunity to do good, but there are people who see an opportunity to do bad. There yeah. are going to be persons who will try to scam you out of your money. Yes. There are going to be persons who will try to, to channel the resources to them, mm -hmm. and they mean no good. So avoid those persons, mm -hmm. channel the resources through legitimate causes, and don't be duped out of your money. All right, our guest this morning, the Honorable Floyd Green, Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Elizabeth and Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Mining. More sunrise right after the break. And I want to